Kathleen Parker is a syndicated journalist. She's with the Washington Post. She is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist. She's actually considered by some center right. Her columns appear in 500 or so different publications. So she is a highly esteemed journalist. And she's a woman in the know in terms of knows what's happening politically. And her opinion is widely sought after, which makes these comments from an appearance on CNN, part of a panel on CNN with Anderson Cooper just a couple days ago. This makes her comments all the more shocking and unbelievable. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not exaggerating. If I ever heard something more absurd by a respected columnist, I don't know that I've ever heard anything more absurd or mind-boggling than what she said. Listen to this. I don't think there's any chance Ted Cruz can win uh, a general. And here's why. Um, One observation. I don't know. This seems to have slipped through the cracks a little bit. But but I, you know, Ted Cruz said something that I found rather astonishing. He said, you know, it's time for the body of Christ to rise up and support me. Um, I don't know anyone who takes their religion seriously who would think that Jesus should rise from the grave and resurrect himself to serve Ted Cruz. I, I know so many people who are offended by that comment. And, you know, if you want to talk about grandiosity and messianic um, self-imagery, uh, I think he makes, you know, Ted Cruz makes uh, Donald Trump look rather uh, sort of like a gentle little lamb. Oh, oh, oh. I, I actually want to stand up and, and almost shout, you've got to be kidding me. The body of Christ. Kathleen Parker, the whole world knows, the whole religious world knows the body of Christ means the church. It means Christians. We are called the body of Christ. We're called the corporate body. Hundreds of millions of people, maybe several billion people around the world understand this. You're a Pulitzer winning uh, correspondent. You're, you're a widely sought after journalist. You cover the religious and the political world and you don't know. You actually don't know that the body of Christ refers to the church, to Christians, and that Ted Cruz, oh God, that Ted Cruz is not wishing for Jesus to physically rise from the dead and support his campaign. Kathleen, Jesus has already risen from the dead. You understand that every Christian believes that. The physical body of Christ has already risen from the dead. We all understand the term that that Paul coined and uses it in 1 Corinthians and Romans. Everybody knows this. The body of Christ, that's the church. I mean, this, this, this phrase must be used hundreds of thousands of times, millions of times around America every single day on people's lips and writing and internet and TV, preaching, teaching, so on. And you've never heard it your whole, your whole life? You never heard it? You grew up without understanding that the body of Christ is the church? Here's what makes things even worse. You said that many of your friends were offended by this comment. What world are they living in? I don't mean to put you down or or be sarcastic here, but this is really jarring. It's like I'm going to get up and give an international radio commentary and talk about the body politic, and I think that that's some weightlifter named Politic who's got a big body. you got to be kidding me. And, And the fact that you didn't know it, that many of your friends didn't know it, and that whether you like Ted Cruz or not, or think you win an election or not, whether you think he's more grandiose than, than Donald Trump or not, that's completely immaterial right here. But the fact that you imagined, and now you're going to say it for the whole world to see on CNN, you're wondering, this slipped through the crack. Of course it slipped through the cracks because everybody understood what he was talking about. There was nothing to slip through. There were no cracks that needed to slip through because everybody knew what he was talking about. He was talking about the body of Christ, meaning the church. It's time for them to stand up. And he believes he's the best voice for especially evangelical Christians that share his conservative moral values and things like that. They should stand up. They should vote. They should get involved. And he wants to be their candidate. And there are others. Ben Carson wants those voters. And, 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 and Donald Trump wants those voters. And Marco Rubio wants those voters. And, and they're all vying for them. And Ted Cruz saying, get involved and vote. And, and he wants to be their candidate. Wow. 
there's there's one other thing that's that's striking. Anderson Cooper doesn't jump in, and others don't jump in and say, "Excuse me, J- J- Kathleen." Just in case you didn't know, the body of Christ means the church. It means Christians. All I can say is, "Wow." And does this expose the state of ignorance and bias in the media today and in the culture at large? It's absolutely scary. Least I wanted to take a moment to set the record straight.